children helping other children cope with loss. That's the point of a weekend long grief camp in Malibu. CBST's Joy Benedict shows us how a mix of fun activities and emotional support is really helping these kids heal. They finished the weekend with smiles and laughter. It's a happy face. But all these children at Camp Aaron in Malibu have been through something most grown ups couldn't handle, and they know exactly why they are here. Because my dad died. A life changing moment, an unforgettable day. December 8, 2015. May 22, 2015. When they lost a parent, a caregiver, a sibling, and had to learn why. Oh, he passed away of a heart attack. So, a cardiac arrest. He died of bile duct cancer. Nine year old Noah Harris came here with her younger brother. This is the memory wall. She was proud to show us a picture of her dad, but getting to the point where she could talk about him wasn't always easy. It's been a little hard, but. We've gotten through it. And that's why the Our House Grief Support Center holds this camp twice a year for kids aged 6 to 17 so they learn to grieve and have a safe place to remember. He only swam with me, played basketball. When I didn't have a dad, he raised me as he raised me as his own. He always called me a son. When Anthony Cruz's grandfather passed away, his grades started slipping. His high school counselor sent him here. You meet people that have the same thing you're going through. And suddenly, despite your loss, you're no longer alone. I, it feels good to be with other people because they make you feel better. And although going through the grieving process with family members is important, counselors say it's almost more important for children to be able to grieve outside their home. They may hide their feelings from their parent because they don't want to overwhelm them. Protecting their surviving parent instead of grieving. He was a big part of the family. He was the peacemaker. And even though this camp is only one weekend, they learn coping skills to take home and make lifelong friends who share a bond that everyone wishes they didn't need. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.